What it do, homies? New Suicide Boys just dropped. I stayed up extra late waiting for this. Dropped five minutes ago, all right? Are you going to see the rose in the vase? Pretty little rose. Or the dust on the table? Let's go ahead, shut up, turn it up. Where that bounce at? She trying to get my love. The best thing I could do is a trauma bond. That's actually kind of fire, right? Because you can kind of think that that's like that's it, it kind of manifests itself as love. But y'all just y'all just bonding over the trauma, bonding over the hurt. The best thing I can do is offer. Come on now, we sliding already. Already, come on. Remember them days in the Envoy, it was just me and Adi. Now, all of my homeboys got their own bus, but ain't got time for bonding. See, that's that's interesting. Now, all my homies got their own bus, which means that, you know, back in simpler times, it was just you two, right? But now all the homies, right, we all eating and everything. But because the fact that we're all too busy and everything, we can't, we can't bond. That's, Wow. I got a couple of friends right now that have been friends with me for a very long time. And if I was, I mean, like very long time, even at my lows, you know what I mean? They, they've effectively been, what's the saying, uh, shooting with me in the gym. So if I ever got put on or if I ever blew up, if you will, um, I'd make sure that they taken care of, right? Because we've been taken care of for a minute. Uh, but then they're going to start going on their own type of uh, adventures, right? Because they trying to capitalize on whatever, you know, trying to keep uplift their status and everything. It makes them too busy. Right. So now we ain't got time to to, to hang out um, like we did when we were broke, when all we had was each other. Now, money kind of got in the way. I like that. My grandfather, remember them days when I boy, it was just me and I did. Now all of my homies got their own bus, but they got time for bonding. Telling myself that it's okay, no one that's a lie. Hey, never at home, just passing by. Yeah, that that that's a whole lot to take at five, right? You'd be surprised what you remember at a young age. And I believe, you know, I got two kids myself. I got a four-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. It's to my understanding that, you know, the the building blocks uh, foundation, if you will, of a kid's life and what they come to learn happens between the age of zero and seven. So if you're experiencing those type of things at such a early age, that stuff leaves an imprint. I and mean, some people say that it leaves an imprint on your soul, really kind of messes, messes you up. And, and uh, especially as you're going into a adulthood and things don't get any better if you can't escape your past it's going to affect your future right regardless of what the past is if you can't move on that's tough so he feels as though he never had a chance to win because it's you know because because you know that's that's very unfortunate that that happens to you at such a young age and you just feel like everything's being put on you because you just sit here and think about like who who does that happen to why did it happen to me i must be felt something must be going going against me right Okay. Okay. Now we got context to the uh, title. I feel like I'm just collecting dust on the shelf, right? It's like a trophy that you win, you know, like, like you win a trophy you win from doing a very hard work, uh, but over over time, right, the significance of that trophy uh, loses its value in your mind. So it's just sitting up there collecting because you done moved on. Now you just replace that trophy with your life, right? And it says, are you going to see the rose in the vase? The rose in the vase is is beautiful, right? It's something that sprang up from, it's something that grew and it's, uh, it, and it's blooming. It's blooming for everybody to see. 
right? Are you going to be, and he said shelf and everything, are you going to be on dust on the table, right? A remnant of something that was there or something that's still there and hasn't moved on. It's de depreciated in age. It ain't blooming or still blooming. And not only that, but it's, it's also not, um, it's also not, if you will, catered, if you will, like in a glass, you know what I mean? Like a foundation, right? Cause of, oh man, oh my goodness, bro. We going somewhere with this because roses, while they can't, bro, hold on. Roses, while they can stand up on their own, unless they're cut, <clears throat> they're cut. And then they're put into the vase as support, right? Now, as we come out as babies, right? And as we start blooming as roses, we don't have no glass, right? That glass needs to be formed around our life so that we can stand up and we can bloom. And that's what that vase is. That vase is that foundation. Yeah, the vase is a foundation. And then if everything's good, grow to a glass, we got something to hold our pretty little selves up, props us up. But if it ain't, then we just going to be stuck, right? We got chopped and we just stuck there. We can't move. We ain't got a proper foundation. We got nothing holding us up. Come on now, baby. Let's go, baby. New Suicide Boys. Let's go. Flip thirty thousand. Oh, did this man just flip thirty thousand three times? <laughs> up. Thirty thousand degrees up. Yup, he did. Wow. to the plane mental castle Ladies and gentlemen, another banger. Come on now. Another banger, baby. It's always an experience watching, uh, listening to some new Suicide Boys. So, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments. Dave's out.